Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Eumant. And I'm Jordan Imsbecker, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. A hearing on the proposed 2020 budget for St. Mary's was criticized by citizens because of its proposed property tax increase. The increase would affect fixed income homeowners. St. Mary's commissioners are planning to increase the income tax rate from 3% to 3.2%. Property taxes are expected to rise from 84.78 cents per $100 of assessed value to 90.78 cents in the working $259 million budget for the next fiscal year. Property taxes are expected to contribute $120 million to that budget. This puts pressure on the county homeowners in regards to cost. Judy Skitsbursky, President of the Southern Maryland Association of Realtors address this issue. County homeowners shoulder the burden of the majority of the cost. STEM students at the Lexington Park Elementary School built new homes for oysters in the school's parking lot. John Spinicchia, instructor of the Natural Resources Management Program at the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center, said the reef balls will be moved to the local rivers making a home for these oysters. These are basically artificial reefs. Spinicchia explained the St. Mary's River Watershed Association started the project and continued to make homes for oysters with the help of STEM students from the Lexington Elementary School. A new harm reduction program has opened in the storefront off of Great Mills Road and was attended by health officials and law officers. The program works to reduce drug abuse and to help with recovery in the Great Mills area. Dr. Mina Brewsters, St. Mary's health officers, credited the help that brought the program to life. This help include various county agencies, law enforcement, and emergency medical service volunteers. Death from opioid overdoses and an increase in the use of heroin has reached into more neighborhoods and families, according to Brewster. Those stories and that data hit hard. It really is incredibly complex. The program puts emphasis on humanity and helping the lives of others affected by addiction. Distracted driving is one of the biggest causes of driving-related deaths. To combat this statistic, three Southern Maryland Sheriff offices created a new initiative that aims to correct these behaviors. Charles County Sheriff Troy Berry, St. Mary's County Sheriff Tim Cameron, and Calvert County Sheriff Mike Evans joined Maryland Department of Transportation Motor Vehicle Administrator Chrissy Neiser in Waldorf to announce Buckle Up, Phone Down. This program was introduced as a collaborative effort between the MDOT, MVA, and the state's southern counties that will run from now through August. Back on April 12th, the Great Mills Hornets hosted Leonardtown in the smack tennis match between two undefeated teams, but the contest was unable to finish that day due to rain. On Tuesday, the two teams came together again to finish the highly anticipated match between the two St. Mary's County rivals. Only two matches had concluded prior to the Tuesday afternoon resumption of play. The Hornets were able to build off of their 2-0 advantage coming into the day and take four of the final seven matches to prevail 6-3 over the Raiders and remain undefeated in the season. The Hornets, 9-0 overall after a 9-0 win over Westlake on Wednesday, swept all the single matches Tuesday over Leonardtown, 8-1 after a 9-0 win over St. Charles on Wednesday. Great Mills has yet to lose a girls' single match this season. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Jessica Eumann. And I'm Jordan Amspacker, signing off.